Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you're doing well and you're having a great day. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at your next date. So this was a request from Sandeep. So Sandeep, I hope you're here. I hope you're watching this. Um, but I thought that it would be kind of like a fun topic to look at. And let's be real, I sort of feel like we all need to have a little bit more fun um, these days anyway. So this is going to be a reading on your next date. So in this reading, we're going to cover a few different things. First of all, we're going to cover who is this person, obviously. Um, we're going to look at when is this date possibly going to happen. And we're going to look at what will you guys do and sort of the flavor of the date. So yeah, I think that that's all I have to say. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, it's so nice to connect as per always. I'm going to go ahead and show you the piles here. Pile number one, I have the clogs. There was a viewer that corrected me and told me that they are actually like Dutch clogs, but I forget how to pronounce the name. So they're going to be, I'm going to call them clogs from now on. Second, we have the crab. Doo -doo -doo. And third, we have the Russian dolls. So if you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead, though, and start with pile number one. Hello, everybody who chose the clogs. Welcome to your reading. I hope you're doing well and you're having a great day. Just going to go ahead here and tap into the energy regarding, um, you know, what is going on here with your next date. So let me go ahead and connect first and foremost. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pal number one, who chose the clogs? Thank you for coming forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal one so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything you do for pal one. Please continue to keep pal one safe, corrected, corrected, that's weird, safe, protected, and guide it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Because I said the word corrected, maybe you and this person, maybe this person has corrected you in the past, but I was getting someone, first of all, culturally different or from a different place. There could be distance between you and this person. There's like something very markedly different. Could be skin color, could be different col cultures, religions, backgrounds. I feel like somebody here could have a nut allergy. This person could have a nut allergy. Specifically, I was hearing almond. So someone here could have like almond eyes or um, there is a sense of like this person could have even baked you something. You could have baked them like an almond cake. There's definitely that kind of flavor coming in here. I'm getting a bit of shyness coming through, although I think you guys would be surprised when it comes to that. I don't think you would believe that. Okay, we're going to look at who is this person first and foremost. <laughs> who is this person pal number one is going to go on a date with? Who are they? Who? I'm hearing that song, who are you, who, 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 who. I said this person might like rock. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the eight of swords. Can I get one more? This person could be a life path eight. They could be born in August. Who are they going to go on a date with? Pal one. And we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, we have Sagittarius energy coming through. Sun, moon, or rising. This date could take place, even though we're not looking at that just yet, but Sagittarius season could be important here. For some of you, this is, person, this is a person you know through work, okay? For some of you, this person has, um, you could have had like a start-stop connection with this person. This person may, you know, come into your life and come out of your life very, very rapidly. I feel like this person has been struggling a little bit with anxiety, specifically around work, um, so they could just be taking some time to figure that out. For some of you, this person may have to travel or you may need to travel here to go on this date, I feel like this person is very dedicated to something. They could um, have animals. They could have children. They just feel very loyal. But I feel like this person has been putting in a lot of hard work. For some of you, this person could be in the army. This person may like nature, or you might have spent some time with this person outside already. This person could have like recently come back from a big hiking or camping trip. I feel like there is a bit of anxiety, and I was already picking that up, so I'm not surprised to pick that up again. But this person feels a bit anxious about this connection. Okay, Spirit, tell me more, please. When is this date going to happen? When is the date going to happen? When is the date going to happen? Like, can we get some timeline indicators? I'm going to pull two here. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Action of Cups. Okay. So, um, this could be taking place within five weeks to five months. Okay. Um, May, which is the fifth month. The action of cups would indicate not the next water sign season, but the next, next water sign season, which would be Pisces. Oh, no, I guess actually that would be um, 
cancer season, which is June, July. So for some of you, it might be between May and July. I feel like for some of you, you already know this person, but they have been trying to figure their, their shit out. For some of you who don't know this person, I want you to know that the reason it's taking so long is because I genuinely feel like this person is taking their time here. I just glanced at the bottom of the deck and we do have the Ace of Wands. So I will say that this person and you are going to have quite a lot of chemistry together. But yeah, they do need to figure something out here. I feel like this person has been taking um, a step back from a lot of different things because they're just feeling very overwhelmed. Can we get more information, please? Tell me more about this actual date. What does the date look like? Is it worth it? We have oneness. Okay. We have the world. Wow. We have the four of cups. So, you know, I do think that this is going to be worth it. I really do. Um, I feel like for some of you, this person and you are going to end up dating. Okay. Um, I feel as well, like with the world, the next to the oneness card, it's kind of going to like end your time alone. You know, I feel like this person's going to usher in a period of time where it's no longer all about um, just you. It, it's like there's a merging here. With the four of cups at the end too, I kind of feel like this person's going to like turn your mind on. Maybe you guys have not really been open to love, but something about this person's energy makes you feel like there is an exciting opening in your heart chakra. For some of you, this may take place outside because I'm noticing the butterflies kind of looks like the sun and we have the trees here. There could be some sort of butterfly sanctuary. Um, for some of you, you might be going on a walk or a hike somewhere. I do think this person really likes to be outside. So that is something I will say about them. They really like to explore. So you and this person could explore. This feels kind of fun. Tell me more. Tell me more about this date. This feels fun. It feels kind of light. We have believe. May the sea deepen your faith. Interesting. Some of you are having a hard time believing that this is going to happen for you. I feel like it. for some of you, it could have been, you know, quite a long time since you have had a chance here to connect with somebody um, romantically. But the spirit is saying, look, you got to believe that this is possible. This person's a bit like a riddle is also what I'm hearing. So you may be a little bit like trying to flesh this person out. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person, please. Tell me more about this date. Thank you. We have depth. May you immerse and go deeper. I do feel like you and this person are going to, you know, be able to really talk about things. There's, there is going to be a depth that comes through um, where you and this person are going to try to really discuss the future discuss what it is that you kind of want to build here there is like that very deep energy that is coming through so i don't think that even though it might be an outside date i don't get the feeling that it's going to be all shallow i actually feel like this person has quite a lot of depth to them this person could be quite spiritual or religious actually as well as you but there could be some differences it's interesting this person's interesting to you you're not boring that's for sure we have beauty may you perceive nature's artistry afresh oh i love that I'm telling you there, there's going to be some sort of element of going outside. Um, I do feel like this person's going to find you incredibly attractive. They seem to be really looking at you as somebody who is, you know, one of a kind. You really do have um, a beautiful quality to you. This might start off as a short date, but end up like going much longer. This person could be quite attractive as well. I think they're going to surprise you. So one thing I will say here is it's like going to be pretty important to step outside of your comfort zone with this person because I do feel they're going to surprise you. Oops, this fell out. So I'm going to take it. Yeah, we have you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Look, whatever you guys are doing now, like, are you are you looking for love right now anyways? How are you doing that? Are you online? Are you going out? Are you going to matchmaking events? Like, whatever you're doing right now, I want you to continue to do it. I do feel like this person and you have some kind of faded aspect, which is why I feel like this is going to be a strong connection because it seems to me like the two of you have, like, some sort of reason for calling um, each other to yourselves. You might also be working a lot with the Archangels, especially Archangel Raphael. We have Shambhala initiations. Retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, Dharma. Okay, this feels very faded to me. I will say that. I think you and this person are kind of meant to meet for whatever reason. Um, but you might meet this person at Shambhala, which I know is a music festival. So that could be, you know, a time frame or a place that you might want to go to. I don't know why I just thought about that. So this person could really like music, especially ED. Is it called EDM? Am I making that up? You guys know. EDM. Yeah, electronic dance music. Yeah, this person could like EDM. Um, but I feel like if you guys have been a bit on a pause in your love life, I just want you to know that this person, they seem to be kind of picking that up and they might also be in a similar type of energy, right? So I think it's okay to be in that energy while you wait to attract this person. I also pulled sincerity for you. So one thing I will say about this person's energy is I do feel you can really trust them. 
They feel very sincere with you. They feel very sweet. Um, they feel like somebody who is honest and open with you. And I think you're going to be feeling very, very happy um, that you took a chance on this person. But they're a little bit different than maybe your usual type. Um, I feel like you're going to be surprised at the actual depth that this person does have. What does this actually say? Terubal, purple emperor. Um, yeah, this person could have Aries in their chart with the emperor. They could already be, you know, someone who's in their divine masculine energy. This person could also be a father. That's for some of you. But I do want to say, I feel like this person is going to be very sincere with you. And I think that that's something that you guys will feel very excited about, just having that sincerity. So yes, that's what I have for pile one. Very interesting. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope this reading finds you well. Remember, this is just supposed to be a fun little reading. So if it doesn't resonate, you know, don't force it to resonate, okay? I hope that wherever you guys are, you're doing well. And I'm sending you a big, big, big hug. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Hello, pal two. How are you? If you chose the crab, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're doing well and you're having a good day. 1111 as I start this. I'm just going to go ahead here and tap right into your energy before I begin. Thank you for being here. Okay. Give me one second. Ooh, this is already going to be an intense pile. I can feel it. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please help me connect to the energy here of pile number two who chose the crab? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. We ask that you continue to keep Paul too safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, this, there's going to be a story here. So um, either you guys have a tendency to attract people who have a lot of ego, but they have closed up hearts. Because what I was really seeing was a lot of overactivity in the solar plexus, uh, which is, you know, the in your belly button. So a lot of confidence, pride, but then the heart chakra is closed. So it's like, while you like that kind of confident energy, these people are not able to give to you what, what it is that you want. So that's one thing I was really picking up on. Second thing, I, I was hearing the name Angelique, so that could be your name or there could be Angel, first or, or last, somewhere in that space. I feel like this person may have tattoos or a lip piercing. There's something about them that is like original, the way that they dress. They definitely have a bit of like a rebel energy. They are very unique in their style. But I feel like for some of you, this person is going to represent a difference from like the past kind of energy you find yourself with. There's something unique about them. This person's actually very smart. They could work in oil and gas. engineering, computer science, tech. Tech is coming through here. This person may just like tech a lot. You might meet this person through a website. Okay, who is this person, Spirit? Tell me more. Who is this person? Ace of Swords, okay. Some of you might already be talking to this person. Oops, we have the Inspiration of Cups. Can I have one more, please? Who is this person? We have higher self. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you already know who this is. You might already be talking to this person. This person could have water in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, they are very, very funny. I feel like this person has a really good sense of humor. I think your higher self has been giving you a lot of different signs and synchronicities regarding this person. So you are getting a lot of information regarding them. You might see this person in your dreams. You might have met this person online. I feel like this person um, can be a very sweet talker. Like they have a really, they're very charming. I will say that about this person. They feel like they're very, very charming. For some of you, I do feel like this is a strongly spiritual bond too. I'm just noticing the fibro. I don't know how to call this. It starts with an F. Fibonacci sequence. Is that how you say it? Um, it just feels like there's some sort of like symmetry to you in this person or, or there's a strong spiritual element here. This person could live on a beach. They could have children. This person might like to surf or snowboard. Um, they might like to just be, be active here. I feel this person is funny. I feel they're charming. They're sweet. Uh, I feel they're attractive. Again, I'm noticing a lot of color here. So this person may like to wear color or kind of stand out. Tell me more, please, Spirit. What do we need to know about this person? When will this date happen? When will this date happen? When will this date happen? I'm going to get two cards here. When will this date happen, please? We have death, rebirth, and we have the nine of wands. Okay. 
possible um, time frames here, I'm going to say within the next 9 to 13 days or weeks. I feel there could also be movement taking place here between September and De December essentially of next year. Um, but I'm really feeling Scorpio season here too. So some of you could have already started talking to this person because we're almost at the tail end of Scorpio season or like you could be going out with this person like this weekend or like over the next few days. I will say that I feel either you or this person has something you need to let go of in order to facilitate this connection. There's something that's really weighing heavily on you in terms of like an exhaustion or something that's just really making you feel a bit like scared, scared to connect with each other. Busy. I'm also hearing busy. You guys just might be very, very busy. What do we need to know about the date itself? This person might have Scorpio in their chart as well. They feel like they're going through transformation or this could be you. What do we need to know about the date? What do we need to know about the date? Whoa, Spirit of Wands, okay. Eight of Cups. Four of Wands, okay. Okay, this does feel fun. I'm getting quite a lot of like sexy energy coming through, okay? So yeah, that's something I want to say here. This person's going to find you very, very attractive. For some of you, this person may have recently left someone though in the past, like they could have just broken up with someone because I feel a bit of apprehension from your guys' end. It's almost like you're not sure if this person um, wants to actually be with you. For some of you, there's a few different options coming through. Uh, I'm hearing dancing, so some of you might actually go dancing with this person. This person wants to plan something fun. They don't like things to be boring and I feel like they want to impress you. So there's like a little bit of planning, I feel. For others of you, this you guys might end up at this, the, uh, there might be a home aspect involved, if you know what I mean. I am getting that coming through a little bit. One thing I also want to say is that there's a lot of flirting here. There's a lot of sexual energy. There's also a lot of like trying to sort out what the other person is bringing to the table. I'm getting a lot of like, not questioning each other, but there's like some flirtation that's a little bit more like pointed. There could be candles involved too. Maybe you guys are going to do something creative as well, um, like a pottery class or a paint night. This person may have an animal, especially a cat. You guys may have a cat. Someone's name could be cat. What else, please? Tell me more about this date, this person. What else do we need to know? Thank you. We have stretch. May you extend your reach. For some of you, I feel like you're not expecting to get a person like this or something. You're a little bit surprised that this person even likes you. For some of you, this person may be quite a lot taller or shorter than you. You might need to stretch up or down. For some of you, this person, it just feels like they're better than what you thought you could get or something. There's a little bit of that element coming through. Is this a crab or a palm tree? Palm tree. It kind of looks like a bit like a crab. This person may have cancer in their chart. But yeah, what's interesting about this connection is I kind of feel like you and this person are going to feel very like inspired uh, by each other. It's going to be surprising. Like this is going to be a surprising fit. We have received. May you know that you are worthy of the gift. This person may end up giving you a gift. Specifically, I'm picking up flowers here. It could be a bit old school or a bit romantic in that they like to bring presents to the table. Um, I feel like this person is a little bit of a gift from spirit. You have been asking for somebody like this person. For a long time and now spirit is saying look we're giving you this we want you to be able to receive it what else we have clear may you see things the way that they are and we also have allow here on the bottom of the deck so there's going to be some sort of energy here with you and this person where you know you're really going to have to just like you are going to be seeing this person clearly, but I don't think you feel like that. You feel a little bit nervous around this person. So it's making you wonder if you're seeing them correctly, but you are. We have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. So again, you may go out dancing. You may go see a live show. Um, I feel like this person likes music. This person could play an instrument or be in a band. Okay. I feel like this person, they're very romantic with you. They want to serenade you is what I'm hearing. Some of you may not like that. Come here, card. We have Anukaki, light coats, energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. Yeah, whatever this connection is, I do feel like it brings in some kind of major, major shift in your perspective or shift in the way that you sort of see things. I like this person for that energy because I feel like they're going to usher in some sort of new era in your life that you've been wanting to get to. 
I feel like this person brings a lot of light to them. Um, you could feel very, very activated by this person. There could be some triggering going on, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't actually see that as a negative thing. You know, I feel like you, you guys really do need to sort of get to know each other a little bit, but this person's gonna usher in like a, a new sort of way of thinking and being. We also have endurance here with cactus, pipe vine, swallowtail. So, okay. I have to just say this. There could be intimacy here. I have to just say that because it's coming through. There could be intimacy here, especially um, even on the first date here. You know, if this is like the beginning date. If this is somebody you've already known, I do feel like this person does want that kind of intimate moment with you. But I'm noticing cactus, right? So cactus gives me this vibe of like being a bit prickly. So you might be a bit prickly towards this person. Um, or this person, I don't think they're going to be prickly towards you. So I do feel it's more of your, your energy, if I'm being honest. But yeah, there's a little bit of like a nervousness, I think, around this person. But there's a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry, that's for sure. So yes, pal two, that was your spread. I hope you're doing well. Such a pleasure to read for you, as per always. I just want to say that I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a fantastic day. It's always such a pleasure to connect. So thank you for being here. Hello, pal three. How are you? If you chose the Russian dolls and this is your reading, welcome. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a good day. I'm just going to go ahead and tap right into your energy before I begin. Give me one second, please. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy here of pile number three who chose the Russian dolls? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. I ask that you continue to keep pile three safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I was seeing a lily, which is my um, sign for spiritual love. So I do feel you and this person have some kind of deeply spiritual connection. It's going to be a bit surprising to you. I was hearing the name Steve or Steven, Stevie. Stevie Wonder could be here um, as well. It could be here. Stevie Wonder could be played on the radio or something when um, this person picks you up. I do feel like I was seeing a rainbow as well. So this person could be part of the LGBTQ plus um society or there could also be and I always think of rainbows as like difficulty at, like at the end of a storm so I feel like you might be dating this person after like a long time of maybe not being with somebody they they tend to open up or usher in a new way of thinking or being I do feel like this person does have some air in their chart or there's quite a lot of conversations here they're quite intelligent okay who is this person let's tap on there who is this person who are they? Who is this person, please, for pile one? Oh, pile one. Why did I say that? Pile three. Who is this person, please, for pile three? Some of you could also watch pile one. Who is this person for pile three, please? We have the eight of pentacles. Who is this person for pile three? The spirit of swords. There's that air energy I was picking up on. Who is this person for pile three, please? Five of cups. Okay. Could be somebody you work with. This person could be a life path five or a life path eight. I'm getting air energy coming through. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like whoever this person is, they've gone through quite a lot. Um, I do feel a lot of up and down energy within this person's field. So I feel like they have um, maybe been through a really difficult time and now they're out on the other side. That could explain the rainbows because I am seeing that rainfall there in that card. For some of you, this person um, may have struggled a bit with like mental health issues in the past. They could have also recently gone through a major transformation or ending, such as somebody close to them passing away. This could be your energy as well, by the way. Someone close to them passing away, losing a job, losing like a connection. There's something here about this person kind of going through a grief process. For some of you could have worked with this person. This person may have a dog or a bird. They are someone who's definitely like willing to put the work in, but I feel like something else about this person is they tend to hide their emotions really well. So they're kind of hard for you to read. I do feel that. I feel like you and this person, like there's a bit of like a difficulty reading them. 
but I feel like they, they just have been perceived poorly for their emotions in the past. So they tend to keep it close to their chest. When is this day going to happen, please? I'm going to have two cards here for that. We have the world, which is Capricorn season. And we have the six of wands. Okay, this could take place within six weeks. This could be on the 21st of the month. Um, Capricorn season is coming through, which is January into February. Why did I say that? December into January, but I said February, so let's say December into February. I feel for some of you, um, this person's already keeping a close eye on you. So for some of you, this is already somebody that you know. Really getting like six to seven weeks, so that, that time is coming through, which I guess would be like, what, a month, month and a half? Almost two months? But I feel like this person is like still kind of struggling to, to feel good about themselves. So they're kind of in that up and down process. What can you tell me about the date itself, Spirit? What can you tell me about the date itself? What do we need to know regarding the date itself? Three of Pentacles. The Devil. Okay. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, towers on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I do feel there's definitely something surprising coming through about the state. I do feel a restaurant here. I'm feeling a little bit of like a hedonistic date. Okay. So what I mean by that is there could be a really nice meal. I do feel touching here. There could be intimacy as well. Cause I often read the devil as one of the more sexy cards of the deck. I feel like there's going to be a lot of chemistry. You're going to be able to read that. And so will this person. With the two of pentacles in reverse and the devil like next to it, I feel like part someone here is going to be a bit concerned that maybe this person's not as open as you know they you would like this person to be. You might be questioning them a little bit. I do feel it's going to be really important for you to trust the process. I, for others of you, I feel like this person could take you to some kind of a tasting. There could be bowling here because those are bowling pins. If this person has the for somebody this person could be an architect or something like they could have something to do with building or infrastructure so they could actually take you to see what it what it what it is that they're working on this person will have very intense eye contact i do feel again touching especially hands this person may want to hold your hands i feel like you might be a little bit shy around this person or you're going to be a bit surprised what else here thank you we have imagine may you look beyond what can be seen yeah this person is definitely deeper um, then maybe what they're coming across as. And I think for you guys, you're going to need to sort of take this person and cut through sort of the BS and look at what they're actually, you know, sharing with you. I feel like this person has quite a rich imagination. Again, there's a lot of sexual chemistry. So I feel like you're going to be feeling quite uh, attracted, let's just say. You have play. May you seek out fun and connection. This person can be quite playful. I know if people often forget that the, dev the devil card, there's definitely a, like a modeling after Pan, who is like the god of, you know, Hedon, hedonism and wine and you know playfulness so there's definitely like a hedonistic aspect to the state what i mean by that again is like beautiful meals expensive meals um you know very rich meals succulent like that that's kind of the words that are coming to mind but i do feel like this person is quite playful um and they have a lot of depth depth to them too but i don't think they like to show that i feel like you, you are going to feel very attracted to this person though it's going to be a little bit intense tell me more like you're going to be a bit surprised be resilient. May your souls weather the storms. We have another storm as, um, you know, we had rain, we had rain, rainbows. Now we have storms. So one thing I will say is I do feel like this person has been through quite a lot. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are, are aware of this. Like you kind of feel this around this person's energy, but your spirit team is really asking you to give this person a, sh a chance, even though they might not typically be what you would go for. I don't know who that's for. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ooh, we have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. And we have the Halls of, um, uh, Halls of Amenti initiation. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations. This person may uh, be a lawyer. They may fight for justice. I'm telling you, for some of you, this person has been through a ton of injustice in their life. And they're like recently just like balancing things out. So I feel like this person is quite a champion. Justice always denotes to me Libra. They could have heavy Libra in their chart somewhere. I feel like there's a lot more to this person than meets the eye. So one thing I will say is that it's super important for you to break through maybe what this person is showing you on the outside and kind of get to know them more on the inside here. They are they can be a bit of a riddle. I feel like this person feels like they have to be like that though. They could feel like um, nobody can really be trusted, you know, at face value. I feel like this person has spent a lot of time protecting them themselves. For some of you, this person might feel to be a bit calculating to you. 
I just feel like they've been hurt before. They definitely have a guard up. Or this could be you, right? Energies can be flipped, so please take it as it resonates. Someone's name here could be Rose, or this person might give you roses, or you guys could be named after a flower. I'm getting a gift here. This person might smell good. They look good. I will tell you that. I'm getting a, like a very suave energy. <laughs> we have passion, okay? Uh, yeah, passion. Um, there's a lot of sexual chemistry between you and this person. I'm not going to hold your hand. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like that's very much coming through. The passion element is strong here. The desire to kind of connect intimately is strong. Um, you're going to be feeling very, very sexually attracted to this person. I just feel like this person is worth taking a shot on, even if you wouldn't typically take a shot on them. This person has had to remove themselves from a lot of other people. And they're just trying to trust love again. So I feel like that's something I want you to be aware of too. I don't think this person is purposely trying to push you away or anything of this nature. I just kind of feel like they have a lot that they have been holding close to their heart. And they want to be more able to be open with you. Um, but this feels kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like this person could be quite interesting for you. You may not know exactly how to interpret them, if that makes sense. So yes, that's what I have. I'm sending you a big hug. We'll talk later. Have a fantastic day.